Hello and welcome back to the episode to the railway. And today we're down here. I'm downloading stuff. There's our choo choo with our freight stock. Let's see. So what's our plan? I'm gonna close all that stuff so that way it doesn't interfere with my game. You need to stay coupled. Hit the five key. I wanna come out just a good distance <clears throat> and there's the hill I have to navigate around. There we go. I'm going to try to keep myself to about... I want to try to keep myself to 60. In case it, it, bigger engines have to come down this way. I don't really fancy using a big engine on the log trains. Now, I say that, but I should be saying I don't fancy using anything bigger than a Climax. And if any of the Climaxes that are planned or proposed come... Like, if we get a big four-truck climax in the game, then I'm going to do that. Then, yeah, that's probably the biggest that's going to run on here. <clears throat> a lot of people laugh, at, laugh about that choice, but that's how I want to do this. Eventually, what I am going to do is try to make sure everything works out just as much as possible. Okay, so if I can continue on my trajectory... And keep the track straight... <clears throat> just straight shot through here. <clears throat> We're good to go. <clears throat> I should be making a maintenance of way train. Why? Well, why not? There's the hill I want to turn. I want to put myself... I want to turn before the hill. So I'm keeping it to 60, but... Eventually, I am going to try... To keep... Many of the bigger tender engines away from here. How far away am I now from the... Actually, hold on. I'm going to try something. <clears throat> so here's the logging camp. Or not logging camp at the sawmill. God, I always do that. I have family who've logged for years, and I keep getting both locations mixed up.
what I am gonna do is when I bring in the cars I'm gonna put I'm gonna tr I think yeah this connects down way down there but this little siding here is where I'm gonna put everything So what I'm going to do is connect th this track. <clears throat> I laid out the yard here, and I laid out a yard up at the uh, logging camp, and I'm going to attempt to connect both places and get one, so that way... Okay, so if I turn, I think I want to turn, I should be turning that way. Oh, that's going to be too, yeah, that right there, this 30 degree does not work. So my aim for a basic MOW freight train for this, my goal should be about a thousand bucks for the MOW freight train. Now, <clears throat> you may have seen it on my channel, uh, but I did put up a poll, and I want you guys to use that poll to dictate kind of what happens next in the game. Because you guys, believe it or not, are going to be having as much fun as I am with this stuff. So, the big bank that I have... Right now, I'm going to try to keep, I'm going to try to get that a little bit more fat. Because if I were to use the bank, the community bank, or yeah, the, the communal banks are like, Should, in theory, there's the track I laid. I should do. Boom, do it to the part here, right that. I'm gonna just teleport along all the section that needs to be deleted. delete the, 
this means I should have a relatively easy curve to connect all the track. Get rid of that, click you open. Bam, done. I want to run it. I'm actually going to trim back the trees here. And I'm going to draw, I'm going to go get Betsy and draw her along the new section. Making sure we stop every few Making sure we stop before we hit any trees. I don't really want to be re-railing cars. So, we're going to be MOWing it. Which I really don't like doing MOW work. And I really don't have an MOW train. <laughs> and the boxcars are the cabooses for these trains. Hence why I matching liveried the cars. Let's see if we can't get steam up. Okay, so we'll just lightly coast along. I'm gonna mute and I'll speed up a little bit of this so we can actually see like a quick maintenance away train. Bye. But bye until we reach the sawmill and then I'll explain my plan from there.
Okay, so here's our plan going forward. We're gonna drop... the stake flats off in the siding. So if someone wants to buy another Betsy, come along and grab them. They can. Am I set? Yes, I'm set for the siding. Now, once I get like little cabooses like the way car and everything. Oh no, don't tell me I snagged something. Oh. I completely forgot about this. So our aim right now is drop off the la drop off our secondary train. These little cars really do make a good first impression for getting a train started. I'm using everything as a means to tell me, okay. So here's this. Which way are you turned? Perfect. Pardon me. Let's watch the cars roll into the siding. I need to roll them clear of this switch. Well, no, it's this switch. I rolled them clear of the switch. And they're rolling clear of this switch. My friends is celebrating us a, an early happy fourth. I'm gonna kick the brakes on so that way our beam and lumber train is ready for run. And what I can do 
is when I'm running trains from, like, from on high down here. So I do, that's a hundred. So this is like $200 worth of cargo. And I figured I got like 20, 30 runs in this. So I got about $3,000 worth of operations in just these little cars alone. Which means I could effectively buy the Shea or the Montezuma. Which if I buy the Shea, that means I can actually have Betsy. Be the little interchange loco. Well, actually, be our yard pilot up at the at the freight depot. Leave her there. You know, because eventually, you know, we're going to be getting a lot more freight cars. We're going to be getting. We're going to be unlocking new places like the iron ore mine and the coal mine and the smelters, which in turn, that means we're unlocking, if we do this right, we can actually unlock the, the iron ore mine next. And that means, no joke. We have increased our ops. I'm going to shut the brakes. I could have just run through here. So, like, basically what I could do is use Betsy as the little interchange engine here. Like, just bring the cars. So, let's say one of the moguls brings up a train. Like, that would be the biggest tender engine I'd actually allow for, like, operations of the spelters and the uh, iron ore mine would be the, like, the moguls and, like, the climax, maybe, the climaxes, heislers, things like that. Things of that size. Maybe even, like, if we get our hands on some 242s and 240s, 062 tanks. Maybe even a couple of the old 064s from the Hawaiian Railways. As soon as we cross the points... Bam. What do you know? Perfect stop. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20. So what I'll do is I'll off camera connect this track to the logging camp, I don't need to show you every track we build. I'm not going to show you the track for this. You've probably seen a hundred different ways it's been built. But here's what we're going to do. You'll see me back here next episode 
where we're going to take our first train down. And I'll just fill this up. And we'll go from there. See how much I get just on the filling it uh, alone. So, I will see you in those episodes. Mm, bye.